hello everyone so today I'm going to show you how to uh, how to merge a skeletal mesh component into a single skeletal mesh in order to reduce the draw call count so this should be part in particularly this would be helpful for example um, RPG games so let's first enable the scene rendering and here we can see the draw call count as uh, 62 and so this is my character so these are like different limbs uh, i have set them as different skeletal mesh components this leg uh, this leg and hand so so here i wanted to implement a dismemberment system system but usually for example in rpg games we have character customization systems and in that cases we need to have different parts as different skeletal mesh components so you can replace them and change them right uh, now here I have implemented this uh, skeletal merge event and I have connected it here so let me just skip it and show you now you can see the mesh draw calls count is 50 uh, this is the and yeah now it's oh yeah it's around 60 to 50 so mainly the draw calls are for this character and yeah uh, now let me enable that plugin sorry that event and play so after three seconds or so now the 62 draw calls and it is reduced to 22 here right 22 so that's what happens when i merge skeletal mesh component into a single skeletal mesh so this is very useful for for example like multiplayer games with character customization right so here i have added three second delay just to demonstrate so we can observe how does the draw calls reduce in real time let me show you again 50 and 18 all right so let's see how to implement this today And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. And yeah, for this session, I'm going to use this skeletal mesh merger plugin developed by Louis24989. So I just downloaded this plugin and built it for Unreal 4.26. So compiled it for Unreal 4.26 and uh, that's the plugin I have used in this project so at the end I will just briefly show you how to come do the compilation as well uh, right so now this is the base project the as you can see I have disabled the mesh merging part uh, and when we uh, import the plugin we can see this merge test and here this is all we have we have this structure called merger and in the skeletal merge parameters type this comes with the plugin and all it does is merge in the meshes and we can set so here is the example yeah so let me just copy this four nodes into my character let's add a custom event uh, let's call it skeletal merge oh sorry right 
now let's paste and connect so here mesh we already have a mesh and for this merger uh, yeah we have to select the skeleton so I'm going to select the zombie skeleton because that's the skeleton we have used for this mesh this base mesh Let me select the zombie skeleton right and then under meshes to merge so we have to now here we have to give as parameters what are the meshes we need to merge into one um, so we need to merge these different skeletal mesh components into the mesh the base mesh so there we need to render only one mesh a skeletal mesh right so and also uh, so we will be applying or changing these components dynamically so we need to get whatever the skeletal mesh we have applied to each of these components through the code not just set them as in the parameter so we can access the eye skeletal mesh meshes for each of these component like this using the get skeletal mesh get now we can set members in this merger parameter merger structure this way and so we need to set this meshes to merge so let's tick that now we have a parameter to set it so let's drag a line and make array right we need five pins connect them one by one okay so after that they will be merged into a single param single skeletal mesh and then we can uh, accept the base mesh we can hide other components because we don't need to render those components once they are merged into a single skeletal mesh so yeah after this the dismemberment thing i implemented will be broken but that's not the not what i want to do here i want to show you how to use this merging part so right now uh, let's set hidden in the game all of these other components set new hidden to true and connect let's add a delay also because so we can see observe how does the draw call change happens in runtime and let's call that function somewhere from the begin play sorry yeah begin play here let's call it okay now shall we check As you can see, draw pulse is 50 now and reduce to 18. All right, mm, so that's it. Um, yeah, so in order, uh, so to compile this plugin, usually when you download a plugin, they could be outdated. Here, this is targeted for 4.21. Uh, I am using 4.26 so in order to compile this for a newer version uh, you can just download this and then there is some uh, let me open the unreal list installed location yeah under the unreal folder in engine in uh, it in yeah in build and under batch files is it 
it uh, yeah in batch world yeah here we have this run uat dot bat so you have to open the command line and go to this folder right and after that you have to run this command um, run uat bat build plugin dash plugin so this first path after plugin shows where the location that i have downloaded the plugin this part and the next part after dash package uh, that sh uh, shows where the compiled uh, plugin should be stored so after this command is executed in that given location a compiled a project with the compiled plugin will be created and yeah that's that's all actually you have to do uh, unless you get any errors so yeah so with that I'd like to stop this episode and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of patron club and also the project files for this project will be available uh, download link will be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye